Hello and welcome back to Coding with T. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how you can enable the cloud images to be shown inside your Flutter web project. And if you are facing this issue, then this tutorial is for you. Okay, we are inside our website which is codingvt.com you can see the url and on this url you will be able to get all the content okay so in here we have to scroll a bit down and first of all as you can see why do we need to enable course for firebase project or if we talk about that if you are developing flutter web application then you need to display the images stored in firebase storage or in any other cloud storage and you might encounter an issue where the images fail to load so this means that the images are not appearing whenever you are trying to show the image inside your flutter web project and the common issue is due to the browser security reason almost all the browsers are implementing this feature which is known as cross origin resource sharing usually called the cores and basically it is a security feature implemented by almost all the browsers to prevent unauthorized access to resources on different origins or you can call the domains so this restriction protect users from the potential security threat which is usually as you can see over here which is cross site request forgery csrf attacks so so if we want to view the images inside our flutter web project then we have to enable the course and if you read this when the flutter web application attempts to fetch images from fiber storage the browser creates these requests as cross origin because the storage url that we use to display the images differs from your web application url this means that our images or our data which is hosted inside the firebase storage uses its own url which is a different one as compared to our url which, where our website is hosted so by this way we cannot access the images of other urls from other servers so let's get started so in here the first thing we have to do we have to log in with our google cloud console we have a link over here so open it in a new tab and also you have to log in with your google account the same account in which you are using your firebase database which is open over here and i am logged in with the email in which we have our firebase project currently i have opened this firebase project and its name is e-commerce app and also you can see this google cloud console is ready and over here i'm logged in with this same email as you can see it's the same email so once you are logged in with the same email head towards this and you have to select the firebase project from here you can select from the recents start or from all you have to choose your project and over here you can see it's e-commerce app so let's go to all and over here we have the e-commerce app click on it and now this one is selected once the firebase project is selected now we have to activate the google cloud shell and over here to activate this you have to click on this terminal icon click on it and this is going to enable the terminal for us over here and it is loading it might take some time depend depending on the connection and once it is done then you have to run some commands inside this terminal a shell terminal will appear at the bottom of your window with gcloud and gsutil already available so now to create the course configuration file which is a json file and to create a json file using a command you can create the json file manually but we are going to use this command you just have to copy this command head over here and if you're running this terminal for the first time it might ask you for the permissions so give it and inside this terminal just have to paste the same command hit enter it is going to create that json file and once the json file is created we have to apply the course configuration to your bucket storage and we have to replace this your bucket name so this is the command that we are going to use and we have to replace this your bucket name with the name of the bucket inside our firebase console so let's open the firebase console head toward the storage and in here you can see this is the path that we want right after this gs we need this path so click on this copy folder path head toward this link and now we need to copy the complete link open any notepad and paste it and i'm going to remove this until we have a gs and now i have pasted the name that i just copied from this storage but this way we have command ready so copy this head toward this terminal and paste it over here and hit enter we have to authorize this okay here you can see uh, when running this command it is saying that setting course on this but 
not successfully shattered because argument exception this argument exception means that these commas that we are using are not exactly the commas that is needed so this is a different style this means whatever we copied from here has changed these commas so we have to change them okay now you can see i change these commands you just have to copy this first go to the dashboard and paste this command hit enter again we have to go back and we have to now copy this and we have to change the bucket name and add the bucket name next to it because we do not have any commas over here so copy this command paste it over here and hit enter and this time you can see setting cores on this and we do not have any error this means now we have successfully added the cores and if you want to check if it is added or not you can simply call this gs util cores and use the get command instead of set command and just pass your bucket name and it is going to tell us that your command is now successfully executed and here are some of the questions if you want to read so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you learned something new and by this way you will be able to now view all the images from your firebase storage once again if you have any questions you can ask me down in the comments okay so once again thank you for watching and take care